During halftime of tomorrow night's Iowa Park football game, the creator of the original Hawk logo will be honored. PJ Green talked with the creator's family today. PJ, I bet they are very excited about this. They sure are, guys. When Weldon Bradbury created the logo in 1968, it was hung in a local laundromat. And because it was so beloved in the town, the school decided to make it their own official logo. It was 1968. The Bradburys were on their way back from vacation in Colorado when they stopped in Quanta to eat. That's where Weldon Bradbury got the idea for the original Iowa Park Fighting Hawk logo. The Green Belt Bowl was going on. Coaches were scouting. He happened to walk by and he saw it on a coach's portfolio. He came back to the table and immediately started doodling it on a napkin. Bradbury drew the doodle out on bigger pieces of paper and hung it up in a laundromat window. Once the town caught wind of it, the rest was history. 68 and 69, it was the dominant logo that Owl Park used because we were the dominant football team in that time period. Bradbury was one of the top players on Iowa Park's 1968 semifinals football team. He passed away in January of 1969, just a couple days after undergoing a minor shoulder surgery. While Bradbury's life ended early, his memory lives on through family. Having uh, the Bradbury name here has meant a lot to me. It's really special to me. What I want people to know about my uncle is he wasn't just good at football. He was also a good artist, he was also a good singer, he was also a good musician. He did lots of things really, really well. And I'm excited to come up here and teach kids and help them find their potential. While the logo has been modernized since 1968, the Bradbury family wants the community to know how it began and the man who made it happen. Anytime you, use, you lose a young person that's so talented, it affects any community. It's his legacy, it's his legacy and not a number. And so we are very happy that his history is going to hang in the school. A legacy that many will remember when they see that green hawk. Now Bradbury's memorabilia will be hung up at Iowa Park Middle School. That's where he attended high school as the current high school was being built. How wonderful this is. I just think it's amazing that the kids coming up are going to get a little taste of their legacy in Iowa Park and be able to see it right there. PJ, thanks so much for this story.